Welcome. Welcome to the Sad Quarantine Stream, the stream where I'm not actually that sad, but I'm definitely on quarantine, helping my friends and loved ones by staying home and not spreading this deadly disease that is COVID-19. Welcome. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to this, uh, as usual, very special stream where I draw for you people while being extremely anxious because <laughs> I'm kind of terrible at doing art streams, but we are learning, right? That's the fun of it, learning. Um, as you guys can see, uh, this is a stream where uh, there is no music on the background, so you can put your own. So have fun with that. Put your playlist, your favorite playlist. Right now, I'm listening to some music. You guys cannot hear it. I'm listening to some French pop. Because apparently the bands I like just leave a, sh a live event on the internet. And I'm like, wow, French pop is so cool. And I'm seeing that nobody is commenting on the chat. Poor band. Poor band. I, I like such a small band. But hello. Welcome. Welcome, Patio. How are you doing? How are you doing, King? Are you doing well? Today we are going to draw, to paint. A skeleton. I already drew all the lines. I'm just going to paint it, right? Um, yeah, I, I'm building confidence to start actually drawing live. You know? Uh, drawing live is something that makes me very anxious. But painting, painting is fine, right? So let's paint today. Let's give some colors to this skeleton, right? Uh, not this skeleton. I actually d did something better than this skeleton, of course. <laughs> this is just... To illustrate my art. Uh, and yeah, oh, this this song I'm listening right now is very good. You, have, you guys cannot hear it, but you have to trust me. It's a very good song. Uh, let's see. Let's I'll go to Photoshop. Let's delete these two layers, revealing the skeleton. Revealing the skeleton I'm drawing. This is the skeleton I'm drawing. Oh, you had lunch and a banana. Cool. That's cool. I think that's cool. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, just so, just I think you guys already saw it, but just, just so it's it's on the the stream. Uh, this is the last thing I drew. I painted. Uh, this is the result of the last stream. Right, last stream I was doing some line weight for this work. I was establishing where the paint would go. Uh, and I threw some colors in, and this is the result. This is the result of the last stream, right? On the last stream, I started this, and it's finished now. It's here uh, in all its glory and all its detail. Details you cannot see on Twitter and, and social media, sadly. So there are a lot of details in this painting you cannot see if you're looking at it on social media. So uh, if you want to, if you really want to see the details of of this picture, you should buy my art, right? Because you can see the details in the shirt, in this religious thing, right? In this scarf, there's scarf, in this very detailed hat that I drew, very detailed hat. So you buy my art, make, make me rich. Make me rich, people, make me rich, people. There's the fog details. It's a very detailed piece. Took me a week, right? I started this on Friday, on the last Thursday, and I finished yesterday. So there you go. Let me just open. Just to show the process, right? Just to show the process. Let me open the the semi-finished work. Avec toi, ba ba ba. Avec toi, ba ba ba. Here it is. Here's the last word. Uh, so yeah, I can just uh, turn off stuff so you can see the the little layers. You can see the incredible amount. I think it's 163 layers total, but I merged some of them. Uh, so you can like dismantle this picture very slowly. So the tentacles go away. This go away. The shadow goes away. The line, that keeps the line. The lines are here still. Let's keep the lines. Let's get rid of this, of this, of this, of this too. So let's see. 
all the layer of the skin. Let's let's slowly deactivate the skin layers, the parts of it. Oh my God! So we can get to the finish thing, which is very weird. Oh no! Oh, this is going to take a, a while. Jesus, too many layers. Too many layers to deactivate. Oh no. I thought it was going to be fast. Oh shit. It's go it keeps going. Oh shit. Oh my god. What should I do? It keeps going. Does it stop? Oh my god. It it doesn't stop. It never stops. That's why it took me a week. This motherfucker has so many layers. Oh my god. It, it, it is very long this thing. Oh my god. How big is this is this file? Feels like it's very big. So yeah, this is weirdly the drawing. Oh shit, this is, looks terrible. Okay, uh, I don't know why he did this. This is dumb. This was stupid. But uh, yeah, a lot of layers, a lot of layer. Let's uh, not save that and not save this, and let's paint a skeleton. Where's my pan? Okay, here it is. Pick my pan. So let's do that, but with this skeleton. And since this is a very, it's a much more simple picture, this one is just a skeleton and a snake here. I might paint a background later. I'm not trying to paint a background right now. Right? I was thinking on painting Jerusalem, like old, old Jerusalem, like from the times of Jesus Christ. There's some pictures of Jerusalem. In the, in, uh, on the internet, some paintings, right? And it was like, wow, what if Jerusalem, it's just on the background of this skeleton? <laughs> and that's how my mind works. I've been really thinking on religious themes, themes uh, recently, so let's go. Mm. Oh, this song is very good. Mecha. Listen to Mudoi, the Mudoid people. It's a very, it's a very good French pop music. We saw French pop band. It's very good. I'm tired of not seeing people loving Mudoid. Such a good band. I can. I uh, I just wrote on the chat. Just look at my chat. You can see Mudoid. Uh, they have two albums. Um, the first one is very uh progressive rock, like very psychedelic. The second one is extremely pop, and I love both. I love both the psychedelic progressive rock and the very pop album. So two albums, both good, great band. So let's go. And very happy, happy, very nice, very nice to to listen while you are on the gym at the gym. I know you cannot go to the gym right now. No one can. No one should. But. <laughs> okay, let's give the skeleton a yellowish color, right? Uh, I don't know, uh, Val is not here right now, so I cannot ask her what's the real color of bones. I will bet it's kind of like color like this. I don't believe. You 
can make your avatar pop on, on layout. Oh, please, please show me later, please. Like, please show me, show me it later. Like, please. Like, for real. Or send me a link on Discord or on... Do I have you on Discord? I should have you on Discord. If you if I don't have you on Discord, send me on Twitter, please. On the DMs. I'm adding a bunch of people on my Discord. I'm 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 a boomer. I'm I mean I have a boomer brain, even though I'm not I'm not actually a boomer. I have a boomer brain sometimes and I'm like, what is this Discord? I discovered Discord on its quarantine and I'm like, wow, this Discord is crazy. I'm adding people on Discord now. And I have some friends with with boomer brains way more boomer than mine. So they are also like, what the fuck is this Discord thing the kids are using? And I'm like, yes, it's a it's a platform for gamers, uh, but it is also just very good for everyone. I'm I'm throwing some yellow colors in the skeleton just to see uh, which one gives me the right vibes. Oh, this one, it's this one, it's this one. This one gave me the bone vibes. This yellow makes me feel the bones, the bone vibes. Great. Oh, that's a new song I'm listening to. I don't know this song. Oh, great. Let's go. Let's go. I did a poo poo. <laughs> I did a not a poop. I did a I, I I did a weird thing to my family today. So I, I hope everyone in my family is all right. I'm listening to some stuff on the door right now. I, for some reason, when I fuck up, I, I instead of saying "Hey, I fucked up today," I say "I did a poo poo," and that's not what fucking up means. Yeah, I know you read it. Read it. Like everybody read it. Everybody was like, "Oh no." <laughs> Uh, I'm curious to know what what's going to happen. Probably nothing, you know. Probably nothing. Probably nothing. I just said what everyone was thinking. I was just like the courageous one. That's it. And you know how abusers are. They are cowards. Abusers are cowards. Let's go. That's the lesson today, kids. Abusers are cowards. Let's go. Turn, turn, turn. Yeah, that that's the thing. I'm not a harsh. I'm not like a harsh person in that sense that I just say what's on my mind. I I don't do that, right? Uh, I said it very calmly. I said it very calmly. I'm just like, hey, it, it's a long history. Just for the people that are watching this, they don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Uh, I have a very um, bad relative. I'm a. I have a evil grandma, apparently, right? which is like a, a person that's like very, she's a very ma manipulative, She's a, she abuses people, she's kind of a racist too, and like she actually hurts uh, her six sons, right? Uh, her six kids, right? And, I, and like the thing is, she only abuses them because she knows she has power over them, but she doesn't have power over me, right? So, I since I love my dad, right? Uh, I decided to defend him and to say what he doesn't, what he isn't enough uh, courageous enough to to say, right? And turns out, apparently, what from what I'm hearing right now uh, from outside the door, 
she didn't say anything about what I said because she's a coward and she respects me, right? So, and she's afraid of me. So that's that's something important. I think that's important. Something important to know about some of the abusers. Most of them are cowards. Most of them, if you stand up to them, they fuck up. They they back out because they are cowards. They abuse you because they think they have some power over you. You know? And that's her situation. She knows that my family will not say anything and everyone will lie to her, right? Everyone will pretend they like her. Everyone will pretend they it's it's a good thing they're doing, uh, she's doing. And, uh, and she just keeps doing it, right? So you have to have someone say something. But maybe I will fuck up and everybody's going to hate me. I, they, here's the thing. The good thing about being uh, a little bit antisocial, right, is that people start to expect this kind of stuff from you. And I don't think my family likes me that much already. So if they d disagree with me, then I win. I just... Start <laughs> it's the freedom of the antisocial person, right? Ooh. Du, du, du. I wish I knew more French so I could sing more the songs of this band. Yeah, it is a win-win situation. I just hope I don't hurt my dad, right? That's the that's my actual worry, right? Is that by trying to protect him, I actually hurt him more, right? Because it's not him that is doing the the work of freeing himself from her. And she did some very fucked up stuff to him as a kid, right? It's a very serious situation, right? So I'm, 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 I'm afraid of hurting him. That's my only worry, real worry. Because otherwise, I'm just like the weird relative of the family. The weird, weird cousin, the, the gay cousin, right? <laughs> Oh, I talked to him. He got very angry at me, which is normal. It's fine. But he's, he's already... He's already... Um, he's, he's, he's already uh, normal with me. He, 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 he screamed a lot, but he's already, like, fine. And I did even help him with work. So it's fine. He cares a lot of what, about what other people will think. Right, I think that's the thing that old people have. You know, they really think about like, well, what other people will think if you say something like that? And I'm like, dude, fuck it. <laughs> Maybe it's because like my parents uh, were raised in very small cities, and small rural cities care a lot about that kind of shit, right? Uh, what would other people will think with your reputation, right? And the thing about being queer and trans and stuff like that is that you eventually you have to just say fuck it because people are going to talk about you. You cannot, you cannot prevent that. Does it suck? Totally, but it's, it's what's going to happen. <laughs> you cannot, you cannot, you cannot. I mean, of course, it depends from each situation, right? Some queer people can actually get their lives fucked. I'm a lucky person that is allowed to have a home even though I am who I am, right? So, good, right? Not everyone has this privilege that I have of having a family... That even though it has some problems and I don't talk about being trans with them, I know that I would not actually be like thrown off my house because of it. Like, so I'm not dissing on people there on the closet. Like, stay on the closet if it keeps you safe, right? All this music is so good. Dun, dun, dun. It's from the last album. Mm, it's a shame that they cannot just put this on the on the stream because I would kill my channel, right? But fuck.
I'm thinking about like a very sunlight kind of uh, lighting. So the sun is like over here, right? The sun is over here. But I, I will stylize the lighting a little bit. Like I will darken the stuff that is inside the rib cage just because, just because I think it's stylish to dark the stuff in the rib cage. The skeletons already have a very complicated, complex shape, right? So you have to stylize it a little bit. But even though I try to be very accurate, if you don't stylize it a little bit, it becomes a mess, a visual pollution. I would say. Ooh. Let's go. Like, I shouldn't darken this inside bit of the rib cage. Some light would come through, but fuck it. Right, it's better if you like this because if I darken the the stuff that's behind, the stuff that is fo in on in front gets highlighted. Oompa. It's very funny, like when a French song has one word that you rec that you recognize, and then you like are trying to sing with the song, but you're like, <laughs> you just say like the one word that you recognize. <laughs> very relatable, am I right? <laughs> Elena. Elena, no, do, do, do. Like, there's a point in the music, he says, like, Evectoire, and I'm like, yeah, I know that word. I know, I know Evectoire. And I, and then I say, like, Evectoire, and... And I get super happy because I know one word of the song. At some point in my life, I I I try to learn uh, French by myself, but it's very hard to learn a language by yourself. Very hard. You have to have a lot of discipline to do that, which I did not have. Helena, 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 Helena. Let's. No, not not evacuar. <laughs> Put a little bit of shadow here, just a little bit. Helena. This music is called Elena, and they say Elena a lot, and that's it. That's the song. Let's go. It's a song you cannot hear that I'm hearing only inside my brain. Dude, this first uh, rendering part is very hard. I'm just like throwing some shadows in it. I'm not really thinking on like, I'm not trying to be perfect. Let's go. 
I think the the French word everyone knows how to say it's like je suis, right? I am. Because that time some people killed some journalists, I think. La montagne. Doom, 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 doom. Je suis la montagne. Let's go. I am the mountain. Je suis la montagne. Let's go. Give some French classes now. <laughs> Let's go. It's funny, right? Right? Like, why the? What does this part of the the bone serves, right? Because the femur comes here and attaches to the sides, right? Of the, of this. I don't know how to say this part in English, but whatever. This big hard part, hard bone, hard shaped bone, right? And like the the femur, they they just attach here, right? The leg bone. But why there is like two rings? Under your asshole, right? There are two rings under your, your asshole. What do they do? What do the asshole rings do? I, I need Val here. I will call her just to ask, hey, Val, why do humans have two a rings in the ass? What's the deal with the ass rings? They are very cute. They are very cute. I just don't know what the fuck. To have a firm ass, maybe. Maybe they they the ass bone. The famous ass bone. Dun 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 dun. I really like the the shape of this bone. It's it's I I think I I made an exercise with it, like to look at the, the shape of the bones and turn them into into practical stuff that you can use like in robots. It's very nice. To create stuff like this leg over here, right? Like this is the junction of the, the, the knees. This is the junction of your leg into your body. Like this is your feet, how your feet like turn bones and its junctions into robot parts. It's very interesting. Bones are fascinating. I would say bones are the coolest part of the body. Even though muscles are more complex at all, uh, overall, bones are just so much fun. Yes. Making basic basic shapes with things is a it's like a a very nice way to to understand them. To slowly understand What you're looking at. I would say the nervous system the most interesting to me. Oh yeah, the nervous system is the most interesting, but not the most interesting to look at, I would say. For an artist, there is no usefulness to understanding how the nervous system looks. To an artist, the only thing that matters is what it does, not what it looks like, right? Because I, I, I really toyed with um, 
back in the day, and I should go back to it, at learning some neuroscience, just so I could use that that knowledge to to um, toy with people with my art, right? Because our brains are very like um, imperfect, right? They are very nice. Our brains are awesome, right? But they have some imperfections, right? And you can use them to create interesting effects and interesting art, right? There's a lot of illusions you can make, right? So the nervous system is very interesting to get, to gather knowledge of on how it works, but not actually understand how it looks like, because you're not drawing your ner- the nervous systems of people. It's the more abstract stuff. This feet, by the way, are totally wrong. I f- I didn't care uh, enough about the feet. I'm sorry. Uh, the f- these feet are a shame, right? Wait, the show is already over. Oh, such a short show, just a half hour, half an hour. Oh, that's a shame. I want to hear more of my band, the band I like. Why is YouTube recommending me J-pop? I'm listening to F-pop, the French pop. Can I call French pop F-pop? Is that okay? I'm not sure if it is okay or not. Yeah, it totally looks like feet, but uh, compared to the rest of the body, the rest of the body is fairly um, uh, realistic, right? I was looking at a book on anatomy where I do where I was drawing this skeleton, right? But the feet, I was just like, fuck the feet. Although at some point, I will have to look at a lot of feet in anatomy and... Because I need to draw a good feet eventually, right? I cannot flee from my responsibility of drawing feet, right? I mean, I am open to commissions, right? So I need to be prepared for like a, let's say, a, a feet fetishist uh, commissions me, right? And I'm totally down to to drawing that kind of shit. I'm not going to say no, right? Because why not? Like, fuck, it's just some drawing of a feet, right? Uh, so I need to be prepar- prepared for that situation. Okay, somebody sent me a DM. Must be you. Let's go. Who sent me? Wait, no one? Wait, no one sent me it. Oh, okay. What Twitter is weird. Okay, it was you. Okay, I will add you on Discord later. So you can be Discord friends. I don't know if that helps, but why not? Like, we're already very alone in this quarantine, so it's fine. Like, it's not realistic that this second leg is so, like... Um... Uh, it's so like round is shadow, but it looks good because it makes you think, hey, the lag go the lag behind is really behind. From afar makes the picture makes more make more sense, even though it's not realistic. Oh no, I pressed the wrong button here. Jesus. Realism is a balance because real stuff sometimes looks bad. <laughs> that that's a truth people should learn about about art, right? 
sometimes you have to choose to f say fuck fuck realism because it will look strange if you draw it even though it's accurate it will look strange you should strive first up to look good at all costs I've been really in into art hot takes recently. I should stop that. It's not like I'm an art teacher or anything. Too many hot takes are bad for the heart. Let's go. Okay, so with this layer done, where it's like the rough shadow of in stuff. I create another layer. I don't know if you guys can see it because my my avatar is in front of a lot of important shit. I'm going to change my layout uh, soon. I uh, put my avatar some some place else because my head it's frequently in front of my layers, in front of health bars in the games I play. <laughs> right. I'm drinking some water. For one, I, I should make my, my avatar movable because it, it's not right now. Yeah, I think I'm thinking on making the chat a little bit uh, smaller and put my, my face there. Like just put the chat a little bit up, right? I don't, I don't think there is a need for the chat to be this big. I put the chat a little bit shorter just so I can put my head there. Right. Yeah, maybe. Or just make my, my avatar a little bit smaller too. That would, could work. Yeah, I'm looking at it on my phone right now. My stream. Also, the, this logo, this the sad quarantine stream, I need to put it down. Also, the the Twitter handle. I should to I should change the place where my Twitter handle is. There is no need for the Twitter handle to be there. It should be in the corner or something. Maybe right below the chat. Okay, now I create another layer. This layer twenty four here. I choose a brush that is more like smooth and blends better with the black, the background, right? So I can uh, mix the colors with the the rest of the skeleton. Some colors are harsher, some colors are not. Uh, just as an example, because I'm feeling like teaching you today. <laughs> uh, let's say you draw a ball. Right. I, I, I learned this recently by the way. This is like every artist know this. I but I just learned this. This 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 basic shit. I just learned this, right? So I'm sorry for the real artists uh watching me. I just learned this. Um so basically uh the idea is that uh you have like this Uh, no, I, I mean, if you need to draw the light source, then do it. You can even learn math, so uh, so you can do the perfect light source. I just spitball it, the, the light source, right? Uh, I just like, hey, the light source is probably around here, and I just do it, right? A lot of my art works like that. I just do it. I just try it out until it works, right? So, the idea, be, I'm talking really about shadows here, right? And the idea, it, it's like, if the surface is round, right, the shadow is going to be smooth. If the, if the surface is sharp, then the shadow is going to be sharp, right? So, since this is a ball, right, uh, you, just, you just do a smooth 
shadow. You bl you blend shadow and light until it's smooth. Until you're like, oh yeah, this is what I wanted. This is right, and this is give gives off the impression of a ball being a ball, right? You have this smooth thing, right? And if you are and if you like are painting skin, light enters the skin. Like that that's a great thing about light. Light enters the skin sometimes. So sometimes in between the the shadow and the light, there is a zone. Let, let's put like overlay here. There is a zone that is like a little bit redder. Right? There is a I did it too much. There is a little a little zone that's a little bit red, like more like saturated if you're on skin. So it's skin sometimes have this texture, right? Uh, but shadow that is projected, right? For example, the shadow here in the head, right? The shadow here in the head is, it functions differently, right? If you're going to, to do the shadow that this ball projects into the, the ground, uh, the shadow would be uh, very, very smooth, especially as it goes farther away. Wait, I think I did something bad here. Okay, this is okay. Okay, fine. So the shadow of the ball, like that, casts from the ball, the cast shadow from the ball is should be very, very, very smooth, right? It starts very dark and kind of sharp close to the door, to the ball, but it's like it moves away and becomes like very uh, shadowy, like very um, smoky, very smoky shadow. That's what I'm trying to say. Very smoky shadow. The cast shadow is a very uh, uh, smoke shadow, right? But the shadow where the ball touches the the ground is very this is the the contact shadow that's a different type of shadow there, there so there is a shadow of contact there's a shadow that is cast there's a shadow on round objects and there's a shadow in in sharp objects so this is like all the kinds of shadows you can draw and that's shadow theory that i just learned uh and i this is my teaching moment of hey people I learned a very basic shit very recently. But remember, I used to be a black and white uh, cross cross hatching painter, so I never had to think about that kind of stuff. Like to me, shadows used to be lines crossing, and that's it. Oh, to me, it's very fun. I always liked uh, drawing light because. Um, I, as a teenager, I used to love Sin City, the comic book Sin City. That turned into a movie. That's a good movie. I think it's nice. Uh, but the comic book Sin City. And the comic book Sin City is all very dark shadows, very dark, um, powerful shadows, right? And that kind of teach me or gave me the courage to try that myself, Right. So my approach to light is very natural because since I was a teenager, I've been doing strong lighting, right? Not accurate lighting, but strong lighting. As always, the, 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 the thing you must learn, uh, you must, uh, the thing you must do in art is just do it. Just do it. A lot of times we are afraid of failing and we don't even try. That, that, that used to happen a lot to me while doing art, right? And I'm just saying, just do it. Just, oh, you suck at drawing lighting? Well, just do it. Granted, it is harder to learn in traditional media, right? Because um, digital is so much easier to fix your mistakes. Like in traditional, you can just fuck up a thousand times, right? And just press Control Z and everything is fine. But on traditional, a mistake is a mistake forever, right? So, like, so I, I kind of feel like people should learn to draw first on digital, right? I feel like kids that always had a, a tablet, 
to draw in with a pen, a pen tablet. I feel like those kids are probably going to be the kids that will become great artists the faster, right? Because they just like have no reason not to try everything. You don't have that fear that I used to have. Especially because I always drew with pens, black, dark pens, ink, right? I always drew with ink, even as a kid, because I loved ink stuff. And making a mistake with ink means losing hours of work sometimes. Like, okay, I fucked up this face. I cannot save it. It's, it's gone. It's, it's gone. What are you going to do now? Just cry. It's gone. If you have do it again. Do it again, right? So yeah, if you have a kid and you are interested in seeing if your kid enjoys drawing and enjoys art, invest on a pen tablet. You know, there is some cheap pen tablets out there. You can buy a good one for your kid. Come on. Just your kid, right? Just buy a good pen tablet for your kid. Nice screen tablet. Screen tablets are amazing, but they are so pricey, right? You can buy a car with the amount of money you have to spend on a screen tablet. A good one, anyway. I think, let, uh, like, one of the screen tablets uh, I always wanted is, like, 24,000 Brazilian monies. Like, imagine paying 24,000 Brazilian monies on a piece of hardware. Wow. I mean, eventually, uh, you become successful, I hope. And uh, and uh, you'll be able to, to buy a, <laughs> a screen tablet. Not right now. I have faith for my abilities. Even though people seem to not like my art. My my last my last painting I was like fuck yeah this this is awesome I'm going to become famous because of this painting and, and it kind of flopped like it didn't do any better than the stuff that I already draw so I guess guess this this wasn't the time this wasn't the time but as any artist can tell you uh, I'm talking so much today I'm sorry. I'm sorry for talking too much. I'm I, I just I'm a very talkative woman when I'm when I'm streaming. In real life, I'm very quiet, but when I'm stream, I'm like talking all the time. But whatever. Um, the thing about art, making art, and every every artist can tell you that, right? Every artist can tell you that. Like that happens a lot. Uh, is that if you make something. And you like it, right? It's probably going to flop. That's just how things are, right? That maybe oh no, Val is here. She's going to say that that I'm very talkative, even in, in person. No, come on, come on. I'm sorry. I stopped saying coach stuff. I'm sorry. Please, 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 uh, please, um, pull my ears if I start saying bullshit. Oh yeah, I was. Why does these rings in the ass exist? What's the function of this ass ring? Oh, you're such a boomer talking about Skype instead of Discord on my chat. Why do they work? Because why do they? Why are they here? Do you, do you, do you know the function? Is that for the just to make the, our ass have a good shape? Right. Muscle, muscle, some muscle. Okay, 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 okay. Then it, it pass. It's it. It goes through the 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 holes. Mm, okay, okay. It's okay. Fine, fine. <laughs> 
Okay. It's because it's such a weird shape, right? Yeah, I, I really have to. I, I, I really have to think on, hey, how to put the, the, the muscles in, uh, on the muscles because I, I haven't that figured that part out in my head. I think on them separately. Right. I you learn, I you learn. Eventually you I you learn, I you learn. A skull from inside. Interesting. I don't have pictures of that. I I search on the internet. Some picture of skulls from the inside. That's bones are super interesting, right? There is a lot of stuff inside the bones too, right? That makes stuff cells. I don't know. <laughs> biology is super interesting. Like I, I, I used to love biology, biology class, right? Because I think I had like very good biology teachers, right? Think like I, I don't know. I don't think they will ever listen to this, but if you're listening to me my biology teachers, like, congratulations, like, you did a good job, like, I really, I really liked your classes, right, I always knew that I wasn't fit for the job, right, but fuck, your classes were very good, I was very entertained, and I, I really like biology, and uh, congratulations, like, you're f good, good classes, good class, I have to thank, like, my biology per the teachers, my history teachers, um, who else, I think that's it. <laughs> those are the good teachers. Oh, I mean, oh, so those things go inside the brain. The, not the brain, the, the skull. Interesting. Well, oh, my, my, my theater teacher, of course, because I loved... I was a theater kid. Uh, so, not anymore. I don't think I can do theater anymore. I, I lost my my star to that I, I i i i i'm shy now i i used to be less shy than i am now right now as i grow older i become more shy <laughs> but you used to be a teacher a uh, uh, theater kid let's go man I, I was saying like um Every artist can tell you that, like, every time you like a piece you're, you're painting, it's, it's probably going to flop. Usually people like what you don't expect them to like. There is a, a painting, my most successful painting ever, uh, it's like something that I, that I, that I hate, that I hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it. that I thought was garbage, and people would love it every time I post it on Twitter. It got a shit tons of likes. Uh, most of the amount of followers I have now, it's because of that painting. So. That's something that happens often in art circles. Like, you, you, what you don't expect people to like, it's what people love. So, it just happens. So, so if you are investing a lot of time in an art, in a piece, right? Be prepared if people just ignore you because that's just that just happens, right? And you have don't have control over it, just so just deal, right? You can't be disappointed if you don't even believe in yourself to begin with. <laughs> Let me take a look. Oh, this this looks very cool already. Like, come on, this looks very cool already. You say me this looks cooler. I'm looking at a link in the chat that my chat sent a photo of a skull from uh, viewed from the inside. I think I'm gonna show it on the stream. Just a second. There's no reason for me to not show it on the stream. Let's just wait. Something is wrong here. 
Okay, let's try this. Here it is. A little too big. A little too big. But here it is. The picture Val sent me. Sent me. Uh, okay. Where Where is the jacket here? Like, this is a very cool picture. You're telling us that this is, looks cooler from, from uh, when you're watching it live? Like, this is a very... This is very nice. Like, so many interesting holes, right? All her bodies are so amazing. Like, fuck. When I look at something like this, like, Jesus, I, I feel something. These textures, these colors, right? It's so nice. I feel like the textures of living things are so amazing, right? If I can, like, if I, as I, I'm learning how to paint, if I manage to learn how to, like, uh, paint some very interesting textures, right? I would love it, right? To learn how to paint some very, very interesting textures. Um, fuck. Very good, very good. Thank you for showing me this picture. It's a very good, very interesting picture. And makes me a little bit ashamed of the skeleton I drew. Because this picture is just like so more visceral. So more interesting. Than my skeleton. Sorry to tell. That's, that seems interesting. Sorry to tell. Okay, that's that's my mom's... Uh, uh, um, zodiac sign. Sorry to tell. <laughs> Sagittarius. So I I need to see uh, to look at the Sagittarius cut. I I look at the Sagittarius cut. Yeah, I I use that as a reminder that I have to look at the Sagittarius cut. Let's go. I need to make some... I'm talking about myself right now. I'm not talking about what you should do and all. But uh, I'm constantly learning how to... To... Um, uh, to entertain myself while drawing or painting, right? Because it's a very laborious process. And it can be very tedious, Right? Uh, and the easiest way is to be it's to always be drawing something weird, right? Something you're not used to. So that's painting. I wasted a lot of time just drawing painting skin, and I'm already kind of getting bored of painting skin, right? Uh, so when I got to paint the the jellyfish part of the last painting, I actually got very entertained while painting the, the jellyfish. Right, because it's like this challenge, right? It's like, oh wow, I need to figure out how to paint the texture of a jellyfish, right? In a way that like is not necessarily realistic, but like people will understand as the texture of a jellyfish, right? And it was so entertaining, just so inter, so fun, right? This challenge. So I guess. Me, personally, I need some challenges sometimes. Otherwise, I get very bored painting this kind of stuff. So since this is a sharp area of the skull, the shadow is also sharper, right? The shadow is not as smoky as the rest because it's a direct shadow and it's, it's not a cast shadow and it is on a sharp area. This is a sharp bone, sharp bone. <laughs> 
sharp section of the bone. Also this one, this one is also a sharp area, although I need to paint this just a second. Let's go put you here. There you go. There you go, boy. There you go. So yeah. And that's the stream. I, I, I ran out of stuff to say. So now I will quiet quiet my ass and this is this stream now. I even talk about my grandmother, so <laughs> I think I talk about everything. Uh, I, I wish I was hyped to something, right? And I could say how hype I am to stuff, but that's not reality right now. I mean, I am hyped for Guilty Gear, but Guilty Gear is going to take a while to come out. So I cannot fanboy about Guilty Gear. Or thing, girl. Don't misgender yourself, bitch. Keep, keep doing that. Don't misgender yourself. <laughs> Let's go. Problems of being a confused non-binary person. So Lindsay Ellis, Lindsay Ellis released a new video because she got canceled and I didn't even see that she got canceled and she got canceled for a very stupid reason. So I guess it's a video about her explaining that she should not have been canceled. I don't know. I have to watch. I like her. So whatever. Oh, yeah. I, I'm going to grab a ton of people with Resident Evil and Nier, right? People are, are going to be into Nier, and I'm going to beat Nier super fast. No, 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 Lindsay Ellis. Lindsay Ellis is the YouTuber uh, that's, uh, that do, do um, video essays on movies and media in general. She's very good. She's probably one of the best uh, YouTube uh, essayists, movie essayists. She also wrote a book. I'm not a big fan of the book, but it's a good book. Definitely a book, a good book. But not, she's not the Red fan. In fact, she's a friend with uh, another very famous trans YouTuber. Do 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 do. So uh, I, I didn't watch the entire video, but apparently most of it, uh, some of it, it's, it brings a very interesting point, is that a lot of the people canceling other people on Twitter it, are white people, right, talking for black people. And that's a very interesting point. Like a lot of Twitter, woke Twitter, it's just a bunch of white people complaining about problems that do not exist, right? And just like ignoring the comp the real complaints of real minorities. That's a very interesting point to, to discuss, I would say. And she talks about the shipping part of Twitter, the part that complains about ships on fanfics. Found flicks, never watched that. Uh, but I really recommend uh, Lindsay Ellis and Dan Ocean from Folding Ideas. Those two are probably the best ones. Probably. Unless I change my mind. I, I've watched so many YouTube's essays that I, for a second, I thought they were good, but then I outgrew them, you know? That's the thing that happens a lot, is that I find a YouTube, YouTube person and I watch them. And I think, hey, this person is very good. And then the more, the more I learn about stuff myself, the more I gr grow out of those people, right? I, the more I realize that, hey, these people don't know that much about this topic. Uh, now that I've studied by myself, I actually know more about than them, that they know, right? 
So I have to find an, a better YouTube essayist. And then I find that a better YouTube essayist. And I'm like, oh, this one is the good one. And then, again, I, I study by myself. And eventually I outgrow that one too. But Lindsay and Dan from Folding Ideas, those are just two uh, have been good for a while now. So I guess they are actually good. It's not just a phase on my YouTube um, journey. Like, I remember the guys from Red Letter Media, right? People still think that they know stuff about movies. They don't fucking know anything about movies. They don't know shit about movies. And people still think they are, like, the gods of YouTube criticism. And, like, fuck, they are so bad. They are just a bunch of boomers. I cannot describe the people from the Red, red Letter Media better than just saying, hey, they, it's just a bunch of boomers. There's no other complaining that movies should be the stuff they like, right? Very close-minded, I would say. Very close-minded views on how to make movies. So there's that, I guess. Like, sometimes I feel like a lot of people can talk about art and can make art. Well, not, not everyone is an artist, right? Not everyone's an artist, artist, right? So a lot of people have trouble uh, expressing themselves through art, right? So, like, <laughs> okay, I'm waiting. Uh, so I... I feel like the people from Red Letter Media, they know about a lot about the technique of filmmaking, but they are not very good with poetry, right? In filmmaking and art in general. So they are good technicians, but they don't feel like good artists. Like there is a sensibility there that is lacking. And I feel like that's missing in a lot of YouTube essayists nowadays, especially on YouTube, right? A lot of them are very eager to point out uh, plot holes, right? And they end up missing uh, themes, right? It's the important, the poetry of movies, right? And visual storytelling that sometimes just fly by them because they're not open to, to more nuanced view of movies. Like, yeah, the, peop the person who wrote this movie probably knew that this was a plot hole. And if it's still in the movie, it's probably because it doesn't matter. No, I think she heard bombs from me and she wants to talk about it, but she's uh, she's launching. I think that that's what I interpret. Not that she's going for gossip. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe she is going for gossip right now. Not everything is about you, Nini. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Do, 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 do. Okay, I understood right. Okay, she 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 heard bombs from me. Okay, and she went. Okay, I was right. <laughs> it was about me. <laughs> The, the world just surround does surround around my butt. Do -do -do -do, do -do -do -do. So the cast shadow starts a little bit uh hard like um not harsh. What's the word I was using? Sharp. And then it it gets smoky as it goes. It's it's the cast shadow of the head into the into the neck mm 
it's very important to keep uh, going back and looking far away f- from the door like this because you have to have to think that people are looking from far away. So you should put too much detail that like people are just not going to see it, right? We, that's a thing that I that's a problem I, I I have with paintings. I put some a lot of times I put too much detail, details that people are just not going to see because social media doesn't have a very big resolution. Especially Instagram. I don't know why people look at pictures on Instagram. Because Instagram robs every piece of art of its detail. Instagram is crazy. Twitter is already bad. And it got worse. But Instagram, like, it fucks up your picture. Even if you do the, the, the necessary steps to, to make it the least fucky possible. It still got very, very fuck, fucky. I only put stuff on Instagram because it's the place people watch the picture the most. If I could, I would just post it, post it on Twitter and Reddit. Reddit, it's very good with for pictures. Like if you look the, uh, at the Reddit post I made on Reddit, <laughs> of course, uh, I the picture looks very good on my Reddit post. Oh, back with lunch. Oh, okay. So uh, I didn't know that, but Lindsay got canceled because she said some stuff that was very not a problem. She didn't say anything bad at all, but people were like, turn it into a racist rant. People were like, oh, you, it's very stupid. You should watch the video. Like, it's in the first half hour of the video. It's a very long video. I didn't watch it entirely, but it's Lindsay Alley's. She made a video and uh, it, the video is like an hour and a half long, but like only then you can understand what the fuck is happening. So I don't... It's a it's a dumb Twitch tweet where she compared the, the last um, the last um Disney movie with the dragon, the dragon girl, uh, with Avatar The Last Airbender. And people were like, okay, you are racist against Asians, and that's why people are killing Asians in the United States now. It's because of tweets like this, comparing the dragon movie from Disney to The Last Airbender, right? And uh, so people cancel her because of that, right? That's a very Twitter thing to do because Twitter, Twitter has a lot of time in, the, in its hands, right? Twitter has a lot of time, a lot of time, right? Right? Because because I, listen, it's a very uh, it's a very uh, um, important topic. It is a very important topic is because. Uh, People are being very violent to Asian people or Asian descendants uh, in the world. There's a lot of uh, what? What's the name? Xenophobia? Um, is that is that how you say that in English? I don't know. But phobia against uh, people from Asian descent or straight up from Asian, right? Especially because of COVID and stuff like that. A lot of racism, white people being racism, and it, people are dying, right? For real, right? The problem is, at some point, she brings up the, 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 the point that most of the people complaining to her about that tweet are white people, right? And not actual white, uh, Asian people mad. It's white people talking for Asian people and making weird extrapolations, right? So there is that, right? So that's like the the big gossip right now. I didn't even know she got canceled. She apparently like deleted her Twitter account uh, and that's it. That's it. And she made a video about it now. The the thing that, that bothers me is that 
this kind of attitude kind of fucks up when when people actually do s- shitty things, right? When people actually do shitty things, they now can just say, oh, this is just cancel culture, even though it, you, it's not, right? And yes, I don't think cancel culture is a thing. I don't think it's like as big of a thing as people want to, to make it. Like, of course, there is dumb white people on Twitter. Like, there's a lot of dumb white people on Twitter. Like, there's a, dumb, a lot of dumb white people in general, right? Uh, but uh, I don't f- I don't feel like that it's a problem that must be called like cancel culture. No, that's just stupid. Yes, that's that that's a very good way of saying it. It's to empty the cause of actual minorities. That's it. Like making about yourself, right? Uh, I I remember when I got I first got into feminism because uh, I found this YouTuber that was very good at teaching the basics of feminism, right? I don't remember her because she kind of fucked up. She kind of became a a red femme, right? So I I don't follow her anymore. I don't even remember her name, but. At the time of me as a young adult, right, she was very good at explaining the basics of feminism, right? So when I first learned about it, like, I think, like, the some a, a topic that she would bring a lot, and I, and I totally agree, it's just like, hey, if you want to be an ally, be very careful to not, uh, to not, uh, is still the protagonism of the minorities you're trying to defend, right? The people who should be talking are the minorities themselves, right? You should not be talking for them, right? You should be, like, um, giving your... Um, giving a thumbs up, right? You, you, should, you should be there um, support, su- supporting it, Right? But you should not be the one speaking, right? So if a YouTuber says something and you're not sure if it's racist or not, right? You need to let the your the Asian people talk about it and say, "Oh, he this is a problem. This is racist or not?" Not you, right, Karen? Not you, Karen. You. It's not your job to do that, right? Your job is to like, hey, if your Asian friend says, oh, hey, this is fucked up, then you are like, oh, okay, so I need to support my friend, right? My friend says this is fucked up, then it is, right? And she started saying that... Um, when people from the minorities came out to defend her, they started being called by white people like fakes or privileged minorities, right? So, like, white people are, like, by trying to not be racist, white people are being totally racist right now by calling... Uh, uh, it's, it's, it's so dumb. It's so dumb. It's so dumb. I was watching the video, but then I had to... I don't know if the entire video is good. I had to stop because I had a string to do, right? I had a string to do, and now I'm here. Now I am here. Let's go. Exactly. And to show... You know that other uh, woman that makes a show with Lindsay Ellis? And she... uh, she, she, Her name is... I think her name is Princess. Is her name Princess? I keep forgetting her name. She's good. Uh, 
I, I, it's just there's not in a lot of episodes, but so there is a, 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 a other woman. I think it's Princess Something that it's on um, a show with Lindsay Ellis in another channel uh, about liter literature, and she's black, right? And she also got canceled, like for talking about that kind of things, right? And like by white people. So it's so stupid. White people are canceling even black people right now. I remember when I remember I hate the new Mulan movie, but waited for someone to say something. Then Shiran came out. Who is Shiran? Mm. Oh, okay. That's the person likes uh likes Yu Gi Oh, so it's like okay, good. I need to check to check out Chiran then. She run them. I need to check out she run them then. Sounds like a cool person. And she also didn't like the Mulan movie, so it's good. <laughs> I mean, I guess they have more probably to say to, uh, to talk about the, the the Chinese culture in it. I mean, I'm subscribed to to them right now. Oh, she's cute. Let's let's subscribe, and that's it. Oh, there's a movie. Oh, oh, it's a shame that so little videos, so little videos. Oh, okay, it's fine. I I watch them like all today. It's so it's so little. I watch all of them all today. Oh, and she has videos on Avatar. I was I always were very was very curious about Avatar. It's Avatar is a good or bad representation of different cultures in the world because they really, they really try to go like very, like like to a lot of different cultures, and I always wonder like, mm, is this, is this okay? I can I I, I like I was I I wasn't able to know, so I want to to hear at least a point of one culture that maybe can tell me about that. So thank you for the the, the recommendation. I appreciate it very much. I already subscribed to them. So I have what to watch. I've been in need of something of some YouTube recommendations because I'm kind of tired of the people I'm following. Even like Lindsay, even though I like Lindsay, I'm like, fuck, I need some new ideas, some new people here. I kind of already know what she thinks about stuff, right? I need new ideas. So if you guys are like, hey, you should watch this, just totally send me a message or something. Like, please. How like that YouTube that has a lot of great ideas, right? I'm talking specifically about... Um, the more con and YouTube essayist part of the, the of YouTube because I'm not very interested in the gameplay channels. I'm sorry, I'm not. I haven't been a very much into gameplay channels, even though I technically have one. That's very hypercritical of me. Uh, I I'm not into very into let's play channels anymore. I was at some point, but not right now. Do <laughs> 
You know, as much as people hated the Mulan movie, I like I'm not talking about the problematic stuff, right? Like pro problematic stuff apart aside, right? Uh I didn't feel like the Mulan movie was as bad as people say in terms of filmmaking. It's like it's bad, but it's not like worse than like uh Maleficent 2. Like Maleficent 2, it's terrible. Right? My Mal Maleficent 2, it's terrible. Like uh I just don't feel like the Mula movie is like worse than that in terms of filmmaking. Of course it's way more problematic, right? But yes, there is a two. There is a second Maleficent, right? And it was a big bummer because the first one is quite 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 good. It's not amazing, but the first first Malif sent is like it's uh, it's a thumbs up. It's like a um a step in the right direction, the first Malif sent. I would say. But the second one is terrible. The second one is almost funny how uh, on how terrible it is. It's almost funny, and it and you could say it's a little problematic because uh, they decided to to put some uh, Native American chants on the tribe of the Maleficent people because she finds a lot of of other Maleficents, right? A lot of other uh, winged people, right? She finds and like it's all very tribal and. And the music it's like very and like i it feels wrong but i cannot say it for sure because i'm not native right but it feels it feels like you can smell in the 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 the, the, the cultural appropriation but it's it's i'm not in the, in the right place to to confirm that fact right but, but overall the movie is just like very bad the maleficent movie and the mulan movie i just feel like it's it's, it's okay it's bad, but it's watchable. It's a watchable movie. I usually I found these big movies so boring that when I when I'm just like slightly interested in a movie, I just like already feel like, okay, at least I'm not dying from boredom. At least I'm not dying. So I guess this movie gains one point by not being the worst thing ever. I mean, uh, I mean, with the money, it could be way better. You think it's some money? Mm, no, no. I think it's uh, fundamentally a weird movie, right? Uh, it's weird looking. Uh, I, I don't know. It's it's just a weird movie. It's just uh, I don't think it's a matter of. It, it's it just doesn't feel like a story that that needed to be told. And I know it's very weird to say that of a Mulan movie because it's a very good story to tell, right? But I don't felt I didn't feel the passion behind the project, right? I don't feel like they wanted to tell that story, right? It it really feels like cynical when you watch the Mulan movie. Right? I think that's probably the worst part of it is how cynical it feels, right? How you can feel like they are just doing be just because, right? And they cannot hide it, right? They cannot hide it. Like there is no passion. There is nothing. It's very sterile. I think that's the the the, the best word for it. It's very sterile, right? Because you 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 do have some weird movies. They are kind of bad in some parts, but they have so much passion in it that you're just like, okay, it's kind of weird, but there's so much passion, and the people believed in this idea that I kind of like, like uh, Valerian, for example, Valerian and the and the City of a Thousand uh, Planets. That's a movie that failed, right? But I still think it's a very interesting piece of filmmaking, right? I I will I recommend Valerian, the Cities of a Thousand People, a Thousand Planets, 
to people. Just like, hey, this movie is very creative. They made all of these sets, all of these costumes. Like, this, it's so interesting. It's so creative and colorful. And even though it's terrible, it's worth the watch. And Mulan is, it just feels so cynical all the time, right? And it's very underwhelming, but it's not incompetent, right? It does what it came to do. Either it entertains you for a few hours, like an hour and a half, and you get out like, yeah, that was a movie, and I guess there was some cool, cool things in there. <laughs> Definitely not a movie I would recommend. It's just, it's just like, since I watched so many movies... They're very popular. I watch. I used to go to the to the theater a lot. I watch a lot of the movies people enjoy, like the Fast and the Furious franchise, uh, the the Mission Impossible movies, the 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 the, the superhero movies, right? And they all feel like just as bad as Mulan, right? And to me, it was a kind of a surprise to see so many people hating on Mulan because, hey, to me, to me, it was just like, hey, Mulan is not worse than the Fast and the Furious movie, right? Why are people like, and you could say, oh, but Mulan is problematic. And I'm like, yes, but I don't feel like my mom cares about it. Why is, why, no, like, I, I understand on Twitter, I understand, right? But the world is not Twitter, right? The world doesn't care about problematic stuff. So why did Mulan fail? I don't think Mulan failed because it was problematic. So why did Mulan fail? So I don't know. Maybe it because it was aimed at China, but the people at China is not are not stupid and they catch that the movie was pandering, right? So because people are not stupid, right? So they, so maybe the audience they was they were aiming at. Like China was like, nah, you're trying, to, you're clearly trying to pander to us. So fuck you, America. Could be, right? I think it's an American director, right? Uh, and the American audiences didn't care about an Asian movie because Americans are kind of racist against movies. They're not from America. <laughs> they don't like to watch, even though it's Mulan, right? Mulan, I don't know how it's, how Mulan, they, how they say Mulan in English. Mulan, Mulan. Mulan. You know, the pronunciation they use in English. But yeah, that's, I was kind of surprised. It is a terrible movie, in a way. I'm not, not, I recommend, that's not a recommendation to Mulan. Make that very clear. I was just surprised it got such a backlash. It's different, right? Not a recommendation. If you want a movie recommendation, go watch, uh, at uh, alone at night, no. Uh, what at the beach at night alone? I think that's the name of the movie. It's a Korean movie. It's one of my favorite movies from the past years. And I think the name is that. Uh, at at the beach at night alone. I think that's the name of the movie. I might be misremembering the, the name of the movie. That's a good movie. It's good Korean movie. Korea makes a lot of good movies, by the way. It's a, it's a thing that, that ha happens often. I know people just now discovered Korea because of, of um, uh, Parasite, right? But fuck, Korea has been doing great movies for a while. Like, and I really, I really hope people are more open to Korean movies because of Parasite now, and they watch more. Because fuck, Korean. Korean does good shit. And that's it. My rant about movies. I'm sorry I talk so much. Movies. I hate the Fast and the Furious franchise so much. Like, Jesus Christ. I hate it. I hate it. And people are like, fuck. I, I sometimes I see movie critics like, "Hey, it's dumb, but it's supposed to be dumb, right?" And I'm like, "Yeah, but f it's so boring. It's so boring. For the first and series franchise is so badly made. It's 
it's such a slog to watch that those movies. I hate them. I hate them so much. And they are so toxic. I, I, I'm legit surprised that people don't talk about how toxic those movies are. Right? That maybe it's just because I I like it's a topic that don't that I that, that like only people like me care about me care about. Like if you are a trans girl and uh, like you you are aware of all the suffering and uh, toxic masculinity uh brought to you, right? If you are aware of that, of the problems of toxic masculinity, watching the Fast and the Furious movies, it's kind of triggering, right? Especially the the, the spin-off they made, uh Calves and Hobbs. Is that the movie? Hobbies and Calves? I don't know. Right and uh, and like it's very like like that that spin off they made of the Fast and the Furious movies the Calves and Hobbs or something like that I forgot the name of the movie and it, it's it's The Rock and Jason Statham right and the entire movie is those two dudes uh swearing at each other and say hey you you have a small cock you have a small cock you're you, and you know you have a small cock <laughs> it, it, it's just like and they flexing their muscles and they're like saying oh i'm good with the women and i know i am good with the women like it's so infuriating to me it's just so <sighs> feels bad in my bones dude Feels bad in my bones to watch that movie. Just two dude bros being dumb, and the movie's like, haha, it's it, man being man. Man cannot be friends. Right? Man cannot be friends. Men are always competing against each other. That's you know how men are. You know, men are competing. You cannot be friends because being friends is gay. <laughs> You know, and that's the entirety of the movie, right? And and people are like, no, but it's just a dumb action movie. You're just supposed to be impressed by by the act, the 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 set pieces and the special effects, and like, how it's just they're, they're so boring, just so boring, so boring. So that's the Fast and the Furious movies. Like that movies that a lot of good critics just look at them and they're like, they are fine because they are supposed to be like that, right? And I'm like, no, fuck it. I don't I don't like it. Bothers me. To no end. I, I don't find dude bros to be funny. They they bother me. And yes, that's <laughs> like I, I I was thinking about this recently. Like why why do I get bored so much while watching action movies? Right? Even though I do like some action movies. I think it's probably because I get bored very easily, right? So I need to be entertained, right? And popular action movies when they do action Basically, the story stops and action happens, right? So for like half an hour, a set piece starts, an action scene starts, and the story stops, right? There is no story progression for like half an hour because it's more important now to show cars exploding, right? And there is no content there. You know, I can watch a boring, uh, surreal movie f for hours because every frame uh, has something meaningful happen. Like, if you watch a, a very abstract movie, right? Like, um, not, I mean, Perfect Blue is not that abstract, but, like, it's, it has, it's, like, surreal, right? But every frame of Perfect Blue... Even the ones that that not the much stuff is happening is full of meaning. It's full of visual storytelling, right? So every frame has information, right? So because of that, I don't get bored watching Perfect Blue because it's like I'm reading a book and every word has something to say, right? 
But when I'm watching something that is supposed to be not boring, like a Fast and Furious movie, there is no meaning behind the car explodings, right? So what I'm looking at, it's 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 blunt, right? So my brain just shuts off. My brain just like I started thinking about other stuff. I started like, what did why did I I I ate for breakfast today? I'm like, what did I eat? Did I like it? Oh, okay, that's good. And then like I just doze off when I'm watching those movies in a theater. I'm just like, what? Oh, okay. Is it back? But I do like action movies. I, I remember watching The Raid. Have you guys watched The Raid? It's a Thailandese. I think it's Thailandese. If it's not, I'm sorry. Uh, I think it's a Thailandese uh, martial arts movie about a bunch of cops invading a, a, a building. And they fight their, their way up the building. And that's the movie. It's a very simple movie, right? But the choreography and the camera work is just so good. They're like, there is a narrative behind the choreography. There is a narrative, a visual storytelling behind every frame and every punch they make, right? There is a story inside the fight, right? There's a beginning, a middle, and an end to every fight. So, like, I'm fucking super, so entertained by that low budget, talented martial arts movie about cops invading a, a building. It's so entertaining. So I like I, I keep recommending people the raid. It's a very violent, so if you don't like violent stuff, don't watch it. But fuck, it's so much fun to watch how the movie tells a story with martial arts, right? It's so good. It it's it is a slow burner though. It the movie takes its time before uh, the action starts, but when it starts, it's kind of very high quality mov- movie making. I would say it's not low ki- low brow movie making. It's like very quality movie making. I would say me, a very important person, a very important artist, saying what's good movie making, what's not. See, I am I am the law. I am the law. I'm the law of movie making. I say what's good and what's not. And if you disagree with me, then you're wrong. You don't want to be wrong. You want to be right. So you have to agree with me. Please take everything I say with a grain of salt. I'm just joking. I'm just a dumb Twitter person. I don't even exist in real life. I'm an ethereal life form. Ethereal life form. Yeah, it's I'm just a concept. You see, I don't have a lot of stuff going on in my real life, uh, so I I just I just use a lot of my time just thinking about movies and and stuff. So I'm quite the 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 nerd. The bad type of nerd. So, do stuff with your life after the quarantine, of course. Don't don't do it right now. Right now, everyone is allowed to be a nerd. Everyone is allowed to be a nerd right now. It's a time. It's the time you can be a nerd. It's right now. Just just use all your time thinking about movies because life sucks right now, right? <laughs> but after the quarantine, do do stuff. <laughs> And that's it. That's today life lesson. My going life to become a concept. Me too. Me too. I want to become a ethereal form. I want to become a Final Fantasy villain, you know, the one that like almost becomes a god, like grows a name, uh, a wing or two, and some tentacles, and uh, and like it's like, oh, now I'm a god, I did it, because now I'm a big monster person. 
I want to become that. That's hot. I think that's hot. I think I want to become a scientist name on a wiki page. Do you want to become a scientist pay, uh, on page on on Wikipedia? Oh, thank you. Thank you for following my name. That's a cool name. Sounds good. Thank you. I'm drawing some bones, painting some bones. Do you want to, to see me painting bones? Paint bones. Do, 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 do. You want to name something after you. Really? That's your goal? That seems silly to me. But but you do yourself. You 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 do it. You do it. I believe in you. I believe you can do it. You can name something after yourself. The Ampelu Principle. Let's create the Ampelu Principle. If 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 I ever create something that's noteworthy and deserves a name, I put your name on it just because you want it. Just because you 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 want your name in something. So even though I did it. I will still put your name on it just because it's cool. Just damn if I ever be like if I ever create a new art school, I call it Unpalio School. Just so so my friend uh uh gets his dreams to come true. So that can become, make our dreams come true. Put your name on stuff. Wow, I need to drink water. My throat is dry. That's actually something an uh, uncle of mine did. I I used to have an uncle that he wasn't exactly rich, but he has a, uh, he had a lot of money, right? Uh, compared to most of people in his city, uh, he did succeed in life technically, uh, and uh, he he was I will I, I will not say he was the greatest person, right? Uh, he had some problems, but he did really like to help other people, right? So when he died, like, a lot of people showed up. And apparently he was very important to a lot of people. And that's kind of cool. I'm not going to lie. That's kind of very cool. Even though I had some problems with him, that's kind of very cool, right? To see so many people showing up in his funeral and, and talking about how great he was. That's, it's kind of cool. I'm not going to lie. It's kind of cool. And how how much he helped. It's kind of cool. He he like worked in a pharmaceutical thing at some point, and he like just for just just like somehow just donated a bunch of medical apparatus for the very very small hospital in his home city, right? In his birth city. And that's very cool. Like it's a very small. It's where my grandma lives. And like this very small city. Like very small city. And the, and the hospital is like. Mm, it's like. What's this? What's a good comparison to the hospital? The hospital is way. It's like it's smaller than half. A football. Feud. It's a very small hospital. And it's one. It's one floor. It's one floor and it's smaller than a half a hospital field, a uh, uh, football field, right? So, very small hospital, uh, but with very nice equipment because of him. So, good, great. So, I endorse you in the 
I I I, su I will support you in your quest to become a nice person to some kids. So you put your mark on society by doing good. Your quest for immortality in the minds of your grandkids. But me, I, I don't care much about that. I am totally fine uh, with being forgotten. I just want to live a good life. And that's it. A comfortable life. That's all I want. A comfortable life. Okay, other people, grandkids. Fine, right? But I just want to... Uh, I, I want a quiet life. A, a, a good life. That's it. A comfortable life. That's it. That's my... My goal in life is to have a comfortable com comfortable life. And that's it. That's why I don't want to be crazy rich. I, I, I think I have to draw this, this, this feet because I didn't draw the feet. I, I, I don't want to draw feet. Skeleton feet. Skeleton feet are so complex. And skeleton feet kind of have some heels in it. In them. Right? Skeleton feet. Skeleton feet are weird. Do, do, take a look at photos of skeleton, of the feet of skeletons. They are kind of weird and very complex. I don't, I don't like them. I don't like them. I will pretend I'm not seeing them. I will pretend I'm not seeing those feet. I them I do them last. Let's go. Yeah, I guess, I guess it does look like a duck. A duck, the duck, the feet of a duck. All animals are the same animal. Came from the same animal. A weird fish or something from the past. Although birds are more like dinosaurs. It's so cool that birds are dinosaurs. I love it. I tell my, my, my parents that the birds are dinosaurs. They didn't, don't believe me. I'm like, no, for, for real. Birds are like... Dinosaur became birds. And they're like, nah, you're crazy. You're a crazy woman. And I'm like, no, for real though. Like dinosaurs became birds. That's the closest thing we have to dinosaurs. It's birds. They're like, nah, you're crazy. You're crazy. Crazy person. Yeah, I think we should all workshop the Oh, th that's the thing. Crocodiles are not real life dinosaurs. I think that's a common misconception. I might be wrong. Okay, I might be wrong. But I think crocodiles are actually just like another type of reptile, right? And like they were never dinosaurs. Like the in the tree in the like, I forgot how it's called, but in the tree of evolution, the evolutionary tree, uh, crocodiles never were dinosaurs, right? They are very old creatures, right? Very old reptiles, but I, I don't think crocodiles were ever dinosaurs in the evolutionary tree. They were like a different kind of reptile. I might be wrong, right? I, I, I probably am, but I think I've heard that somewhere. Right. So birds are dinosaurs, are the closest thing to dinosaurs. Crocodiles are just very old. And that's it.
Let's go. Coco Lab didn't change much. Yeah. Okay. Dinosaurs. Dinosaurs are cool. I don't have anything against dinosaurs. In fact, I think I love dinosaurs. I I really enjoy the the Jurassic Park movies when I was a kid. And so much so that I almost enjoyed the the new ones. It still didn't though. It still didn't, but I almost did. It came close because dinosaurs are cool. I like dinosaurs. What do you think about Horizon Zero Dawn? So I played a few seconds. Of, I've, I've, I played like an hour or two of Horizon Zero Dawn. It very, it's very bad design-wise, um, game design-wise, but uh, the robots are very cool. If you're, if you're asking me about the, the robots, the robots are very cool. I have nothing against the robots. They are cool robots. And I very much enjoy the aesthetic of the robots. Not like the game much, though. I'm one day I might try to give it a chance, but I I I'm already not a very big fan of open world games, right? They bore me, right? They really bore me. Uh, unless it's Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild didn't bore me as much. I kind of enjoyed Breath of the Wild. But as but aside from Breath of the Wild, I don't think I ever enjoyed a open world game. Oh wait, I do like uh, Fallout New Vegas. Fallout New Vegas is quite good, and it's a quite good open world too. Like, I I really feel like a lot of open world games don't have a very good world design, right? I I was playing, I was trying to play The Witcher, The Witcher Three, recently, and it's mind-boggling how bad the world design is because there are no landmarks right so it's all very realistic right but you you cannot have an idea to where you are going unless you look at the map right so you have to look at the abstraction of a mini map in the top of the screen you have to look at it to even to navigate uh the game and if you try to look at at, at um, plates, uh, uh, signs in the road, uh, you cannot read them. You cannot read the signs, right? So something that's good in Zelda, for example, is that you can read a sign saying, hey, in that direction is Kakariko Village. So you don't need to read a map. You can just read the sign, right? And you just see like, oh, hey, in that direction is Kakariko Village. You can go with that. In, 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 in The Witcher, you cannot even read the signs in the road, right? Right? And like, so the game is just like this very realistic nature, right? With no landmarks that you have to look at the, this abstract map that it's outside of the game. Like it's it's broke, breaking immersion, right? If you, you cannot, so you have to look at the map constantly and follow weird icons on the map. And like, it's so bad. And, and the horizon is a little bit like that too. Horizon does not have, is very good. I mean, maybe it becomes better and it goes, I don't know, I played two hours of it. But the two hours I played, there weren't a lot of very good design to the map. Not good landmarks, not look, like interesting shapes in the map. Are you saying you don't look at maps when camping? I think there's a difference, right? I think there's a big difference at looking at the map and like depending on the map, right? It's, and again, it's very realistic, but it feels boring and bad, especially after you play Zelda. I don't know if you played Breath of the Wild, right? Uh, I was very harsh at Breath of the Wild when I first played it. But after I play those other games, I realize how 
well, Breath of the Wild nails the feeling of, hey, instead of looking at only the map, you're looking at the game, right? You can spot the place you need to go from afar and you just go there, right? And sometimes the game also hides play, hides surprises with mountains and stuff. So you're always just also discovering shit, right? So there is a whole like area that's super nice in Breath of the Wild. It's called Akala, right? And you cannot see Akala from almost any area of the map. Right? Um, Akala is hidden on purpose, right? And it's a super nice area. And discovering Akala, right, by following the road and uh, just magically getting there and seeing signs, it's a good experience. It feels nice. It feels true, right? So much so that Breath of the Wild lets you turn off the, the map, the, the, the little map on the screen. You have to open... The way I played is that I turn off the, the mini map on the screen, on the, on the corner of the screen. And I would only use the, the main map that I have that you see when I press start, right? And that didn't bother me because I didn't need to use the map that often, right? But in The Witcher, I deactivated the, the mini map, and turns out you, I, you, you, you shouldn't do that. You have to have a mini map on your screen all the time, all the time to look at icons, right? So. It's just like, hey, you can design a map in a smart way, but not a, a lot of those studios are very good at that, right? And Nintendo just come out and just did it, just did it. That's that's the thing about Nintendo. I I hate Nintendo, but I also love Nintendo. At the same time, they are just like garbage, right? They just do like the worst shit. They also just like sometimes they just figure shit out that nobody else figured, right? It's weird. It's a weird relationship to be a Nintendo fan. It's loving someone that hates you, right? I want to hate Nintendo, but Nintendo sometimes is just so good at what they do, right? It's like they always they are always figuring out stuff that people didn't, and I don't know why. I I legit don't know why. Maybe it's the policy inside the studio. Maybe they have like a a, a high standard, so they're like, "Hey, we're not just going to release a game. We're going to release the best game. So take your time. We have five years to come up with a game, and let's see what happens." Don't know. I guess I technically, to be sure, I technically should play uh, one of the one of the new Assassin's Creed games, right? Because Assassin's Creed used to be very bad at the the, the very thing I'm talking about right now, right? Uh, but I pl start I stopped playing Assassin Creed, Assassin's Creed games uh, on the number. Yeah, I played the second one. I played the second one, and then I tried to play the other versions of the second game and the third game. But I never finished them. I only played to completion the, the, the second game. But the new games are very different from that. So I wonder if you saw figure out how to do map design. I don't know. I legit don't know. Maybe they did. Maybe they figured it out. Who knows? Yeah, people seem to like Odyssey. Uh, Assassin's Creed is Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I doubt that is good, that it's good, uh, but I interesting in the world design alone, what they do with the world design. But if you really want to talk about open world design and the best open world design, that's Outer Wilds, uh, the best, one of the best games of all time. You should play Outer Wilds. Uh, it's one of the best games of all time. 
great overall design. I don't know if it counts, uh, but it's fucking amazing. <laughs> yeah, but I need to try Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Even though I heard from a lot of people that nail, uh, that know a lot about writing, I heard a lot of people that know a lot about writing complaining about the writing Odyssey. Like the the writing in Assassin's Creed Odyssey, it's separated from the gameplay. So it's like they hired someone, they made a game and they hired someone to make a story that made sense, right? So Ubisoft just still works like that. They they first think of the game and late after that they they think about the story. Even though it's an RPG right now, right now it's an open world RPG and the story is very important. <laughs> Oh, Capcom is having a promo on stream? That's nice. I'm going to take a look at that. I like Capcom games. How, how much is uh, Street Fighter V? It, if it's very cheap, I might buy it. If it's like uh, five Brazilian money, monies, I, I, I'll buy it. Even though it's not great, I'm, I'm going to take a look. Mm, it, is it $50.99 with the... This no, it's probably just the, the base version without the DLC. So fuck it, not buying it, not buying it. Just the ah, fuck it. Not even the championship edition. I don't know which Capcom games I would it would be nice to buy. I don't know. I could buy Resident Evil 7 just to buy it. Just to say, hey, I bought it. Because it's a game that I enjoyed a lot. Yeah, Resident Evil, if you never play Resident Evil 7, I recommend it. It's very good. It's very nice. Very nice game. I hope they make more games like it. I hope 8... Resident Evil 8 is just as good. Which, I don't believe it will, but <laughs> let's hope so. Let's hope. Let's have hope. It's important to have hope. There's a lot of Resident Evil. Which should I, which you would recommend to start? Good question. Um, sincerely, uh, Resident Evil is like, Every it's like Final Fantasy. Every Resident Evil, a lot of Resident Evils are very different from each other, right? So I will say I will tell you the ones that you should try out and see which one you like, right? If you want traditional Resident Evil, oh yeah, Okami, 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 totally Okami. How much Okami? I, I want to buy Okami. How how much is Okami? How much is Okami? How much is it gonna be? Twenty. I have no. I have to buy a lot of stuff, right? I have to buy Gucci gear. I have to I have to wait for Gucci gear. But Okami, Okami is a fucking nice buy. Uh, but if you want traditional uh, uh, Resident Evil, which is kind of hard and kind of clunky, but very good, the remake of the first game, the Resident Evil, the remake of the first game, it's probably the best horror old survival horror game right but it, but that's a very hard game to get into right if you want the more actiony resident evil the best one is 4 the one i'm playing right now just play resident evil 4 and the best one after 4 is 7 so if i would recommend resident evil it's one remake resident evil 4 and Resident Evil 7. And then, depending on which one you liked, you pick the next, right? You're like, oh, I really liked 4. Which one should I play? I, I hated the first game, but I liked the 4. Which one should I play? Uh, so then you play uh, Resident Evil 2 Remake, which is like 4, but a little bit more horror. So you might like that, right? Oh, I really liked the Resident Evil 1 Remake. Uh oh then you if you like the Resident Evil 1 remake play the um, 
the, the Resident Evil 2 original. Like the original Resident Evil 2 instead of the remake. 2015 remaster. So they were, the Resident Evil 1 remake is actually for GameCube, but they remaster it in 2015. So it's probably that one. It's probably that one. But it's actually a GameCube game. It's a HD version of the GameCube very game. They remade Resident Evil 1. And it's like remade by the guy who made Resident Evil 1. By, by the people who made Resident Evil 1. So they basically just look at their game. How can you do better? But it, but it is very hard. Right? It is very hard. So if you want to start, probably 4 and 7 are ba better bets. If you want to start Resident Evil and you don't want to be scared like away from it because the remake is very hard, go for four and seven because that would be thirty bucks. Okay, okay, but yeah, if you like, I think like if you are afraid, if you don't like hard games, four and seven are probably the best bet. Seven, I think seven is for everyone. I think seven is the most for everyone. Resident Evil. Unless you don't like scary stuff, then 4 is probably the least scary one. There is it? I think there is. I think there is. But I do recommend you play on normal. I think it's worth it. I think it's worth For 7? Oh, wait. You're talking about the remake? There is an easy. There is an easy. There is an easy. The easy version has less zombies, you have more life, some puzzles are easier. All right. There is an easy on remade on the remake, and I do recommend I do recommend easy, just like so don't get, so you don't get scared away by it. Right? The problem with the remake is because original Resident Evil has limited saves. Right? And that's very scary. Right? The fact that you cannot save anytime you want. That's very scary, and like that. That to me, that's too scary. I, I, I don't even like like I like it, right? But you can try. <laughs> uh, but yeah, some some people like the remake and and say they are easy. So I don't know. Like my friend Vlad from the chat that sh sometimes shows up in the in the chat, he can beat Resident Evil Classic in like an hour. But he's kind of afraid of the remake because the remake is kind of hard. So even if he's scared of the remake, then it's because it's kind of a harsh game. But it's one of the best. But, but again, one of the best survival games of all time. It's very well designed. But yeah, four and seven are probably the best entries. Four and seven are probably the best entries to start. Yeah, I think if I if you were talking about a baby, like a person that never played Resident Evil, which one sh they should try first? It's probably four, seven, and the remake of the second one, right? Because after that, because if you finish the remake of the second one and you're like, hmm, uh, hmm, I should, I, I probably should p pick up the PS2 version, by the way, of the four of the fourth game, even though it's a little bit uglier. It's it has more content in it because they made it later. Resident Evil 4 is, was supposed to be um, uh, exclusive to the GameCube, but then GameCube failed, and so they ported it to the second to the PS2, and they made more content. So, like there is an entire second different campaign with Ada Wong in the PlayStation 2. That is not as good as the Leon campaign, but. It's very good still. Yeah, if you and then like, but for a baby that never play, like if the baby plays four, seven, and and two remake, and it's like mm, I could go with something harder, then I think that's one remake where one remake comes, or the or the or the first or the first. Um, original version of the, the second game. The thing about... The difference about the first game and the second game is that in the first game, your bullets are scarce, right? So you cannot just kill everything, right? 
your bullets are scarce. But in the second game, which is directed by Camilla, the guy who made Bayonetta, you can kill everything. If you find enough, you can find enough bullets in the in the in the scenarios. Uh, you can kill everything, right? So, like, the only true like hard Resident Evil game is the first one and the remake of the first one, because even the second game is like. Both the remake and the original PS1 game, they are like so much for, so much more forgiven. So much more forgiven. Kamiya doesn't like horror games, right? Kamiya, the director of Bayonetta and Okami, the guy like doesn't like horror games. Even though he made Resident Evil 2, right? And it was a very good Resident Evil. He doesn't like horror games. He he says he's not. He doesn't like scary stuff. He's afraid of everything. So, yeah, he's scared of everything. He he made a good horror game, but he hates horror games. So I I think that's why Resident Evil Two has more ammunition in it. Just like hey fucker, I don't I I know how you feel. I don't like this too. So just. If you want to explode the heads of every zombie, you can. Just do it. Feel free. I like this bone. I like the shading I did in this bone. I'm I'm satisfied by the city. Yay, thank you, Vlad. I was just talking about you. Welcome. Don't be sad in the press. I forbid you to be sad in the press. No, I, that that's the dumb thing to say, I'm sorry. Uh but if you want to talk, like after the stream, feel free. Just give me a call. And we can help each other survive this harsh life of ours. Yeah, it's so hot killing zombies. Also, thank you for being here. I know that you have classes when I when I'm streaming. So every time you show up, I know you are. You're like you're probably very sad and watching some very boring classes. I think that's. I mean, I think that's the case. No, it's not skipping classes because because it's all like digital, right? It's all digital, so he can just watch me and the class, right? He can watch me and the class at the same time, but you skip all class. Oh no, don't do that. I mean, I did. I used to do that all the time, but you shouldn't. You shouldn't do what I <laughs> what I did. Don't do what I do. Do, 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 do. Also because I was just very sad about my, my college. Because I chose a bad college. But it's fine. Everything is fine now. Because I'm unemployed. Do, 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 do. Oh yeah. Final, you guys stopped talking about Final Fantasy. You guys used to talk so much about Final Fantasy with me. I guess you were guys are not true fans. Who 
what is this? This is an event? I, I can't do that. I, I, t I technically I can do that. I can watch the. Wait, is it? Is it the Resident Evil Village so showcase? I don't know if I want to watch it. I should watch it because of, because that's content for the stream, right? Wait. Oh, so oh. 7 a.m. Okay. Oh, so I lost. Okay, fine. I don't think I want to watch it. I want to. I want everything in the Resident Evil to be a mystery to me. Resident Evil 8, right? So I are like, okay. I, I know I'm going to play this game as soon as it is available, right? And uh, so I would just not. I did not watch the demo. Like, people already played the demo. I didn't watch the demo of Resident Evil 8. Oh, it's part a fake Final Fantasy fan on the chat. Let's go. It's part of the faker. Let's go. I have so many friends that are like their quarantine are final it's just Final Fantasy 14. They play so much Final Fantasy 14. Like all the time. Their Twitter is just like full of of pictures of them partying partying in Final Fantasy 14. And it's kind of crazy because and it's kind of weird because I see a lot of people turning into Lala Fells. It's kind of weird. Like, if like it f really feels like eventually everyone turns into Lala Fell. I don't know what's the deal with turning into a potato, but... Let's go. What is this fun fest? Is this a stream or some kind? Or is it an event inside the game? Okay. Oh, so it's probably just a, just uh, Yoshi P talking for like an hour about new features in the game that I will not understand. Like, hey, I'm Yoshi P, and I'm very tired and very mad because and very angry all the time. And I'm making two games. I'm making Final Fantasy XIV and Final Fantasy XVI at the same time. Uh, and, and I'm very pissed. I just want to retire, and Square doesn't let me do it because I give Square a ton, shit tons of money. Oh, okay, so it's like BlizzCon, but now it's digital, okay. <laughs> Remember when people used to like Blizzard? What a crazy time. People used to like Blizzard. The fuck happened? Oh yeah, they bought. They got bought by Activision. That's what happened. Go.
Yeah, a lot of people do. People, a lot of people love old Blizzard. But new Blizzard, I only hear complaints all the time. So I guess Blizzard fans are not happy. Do -do 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 -do. Painting is hard. It's take it takes so long just to paint the skeleton. Or maybe I'm just very slow. I don't know. Maybe I need to learn some techniques to get faster. Right? Maybe that's what missing is missing. Maybe that's the skill set I'm missing. Just put a black black background because it's amazing. It's better with a back black background. Yeah, the shit pops with a back a black background. Good. Fuck the gray. Black background. Yeah. Let's see. I now I should paint some light. Right? I paint some shadow. Let's paint some light. No. In fact, let's paint more shadow, but a darker shadow. The contact shadow I was talking about. The shadow that creates when you contact stuff with stuff. So like the, um, the school here is in contact with this vertebrae. So it should be a lot darker. So there is a contact shadow here. This is actually in video games. A lot of video games have this uh, setting, graphical setting, of turning on and off contact shadow. Let's go. I could may make this stuff inside the rib cage darker too. Wow, that's a really easy way to cure our internet. Your internet doesn't like you. What's happening? It's like there is a cast shadow inside the school, inside the skeleton, inside the rib cage. And you should really watch the fan fest with us and play the critical claim in your G square. On square we have free trial and now goes up to 611. I have it installed on my computer. I have a character on Final Fantasy fourteen. I even streamed Final Fantasy fourteen. Did you watch the streams? The Final Fantasy fourteen streams? So, technically I could. But I will not understand anything they are talking about. And also... I don't fuck it. I don't. I don't care. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Like I really appreciate the love you guys have for that game, but uh, I think it's a good game. I legit played it, and I was like, "Oh, this is a good game." Uh, there is near stuff. Amazing. I I I hate near. <laughs> I play near out of spite, 
that's that's I'm gonna just for just so everyone knows, right? I'm hyped for this the the near stream that's going to happen soon on next Friday. Uh, not next Friday, then the Friday on the next week. But I don't like near. Never said I did. Near is bullshit. Nyokotaro is a hack. <laughs> The more I think about Nier, I never play Automata though, so I don't know. I play only the original Nier, so maybe Automata is not as bad. Uh, but let's go. So telling me it, there's a Nier stuff, there's Nier stuff in it? Ah, I don't care. Um, that's, but yeah, I, I really felt like it was a good game. It's just that it, it, um, necessitates a lot of effort from you, right? You have to play a lot of Final Fantasy XIV to enjoy it. Um, oh yeah, I think, I think Kaori showed me the next Final Fantasy, uh, Final Fantasy X stuff. It looks very cool. Like some summons, right? I think you guys are going to get Anima from Final Fantasy X. Can someone Anima? And I think Yojimbo is already on that game. So it's it's Anima and some other summon. I forgot what the other summon is. But you guys are going to get Anima from Final Fantasy X. Yeah, your Jimbo's the joke. Yeah. yeah, I think I watched the video. Cause your Jimbo is a very good cold summon. Well yeah, Final Fantasy fourteen definitely feels like a good game, but it asks you to put a lot of time into it. And I'm not into putting time into games. <laughs> <laughs> I like to play games short. Okay, Vlad asked the 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 the, the, the ear, so that's that's a very a very important part of internet relationships. Asking how old people are. I hope you're not under 18 because you shouldn't be watching my stream. Okay, 25, good. I think you told me that already, but I forgot. <laughs> Let's go. Isn't like a prerogative of online games to like it so much that you started hating it? I think that's what happens with all online games. Everyone that plays too much of a game plays so much that they start hating it. Think it happens to any game? No, I think it happens more with online games, right? I keep playing my the games I like. Like I still I keep playing Super Metroid and Resident Evil Four and Twilight Princess, and I keep liking those games, right? I definitely put more than two hundred hours in Twilight Princess because I must have beat it like four times, five times. And it's not a short Zelda game, so. Uh, oh, you're seeing 2,000 hours, not 200. Oh, okay, 2,000 hours is a lot. Yeah, 2,000 is a lot. I don't know. I don't know. 
and I don't think I have ever played a game for a thousand hours. That game will probably be Street Fighter Three, uh, because I just played every day, like. After lunch, I just play Street Fighter 3, so I just open up Fight Kate and just play Street Fighter 3. So maybe eventually I will have 2,000 hours in Street Fighter 3, and I will be able to tell you uh, if I hate it or not, right? Uh, Fight Kate does keep track of how long you've been playing a game. I think I'm on 300 hours of fighting of Street Fighter 3. It's more because I used to play at work with a friend, but uh, the online aspect of it, it's like two, two, it's like 300, I think. So yeah, one day I might discover the hate of, for a game. I face a frequent problem with Street Fighter 3 is that like I want people I know to play Street Fighter 3, right? But all the people I know that want to play Street Fighter 3, um, they want to play with me, right? And uh, I don't, I don't like, um, I'm like, I'm not like, hey, let's, let's um, put a date on this. On the calendar for the day we are going to play Street Fighter. No, I'm always there. You know, I just like just like oh, I stop drawing. I just stop drawing. I stop streaming. I just boot up Street Fighter Three in a few seconds on Fightcade, and I'm just like bam, playing with someone because the the net code is amazing, right? So like it's weird. I want more people playing Street Fighter Three so I can talk to, to people to, about Street Fighter Three. But I don't necessarily want to play with them. I just want them around. <laughs> so that's why. I, so I hope Guilty Gear is, is, is going to be popular enough that I have exactly that. Like a lot of friends playing it, but not necessarily like, hey, I only only playing with me. That's a problem. Like they they only play with me, and I no, dude, like play with other people too. Get good, motherfucker. Get good. Oh, I need to go to the bathroom. My, I'm, I'm my. It's going to explode. My belly is going to explode if I don't go to the bathroom. So be right back. Oh my god, guys, get a room. <laughs> uh, okay. 
now I'm empty and happy. I'm empty and relaxed. Finally, my bowels, is it bowel? I think it's bowel. My bowels are empty. That's, is that how you say that in English? I hope so. Oh, you're depressed though. Yeah. But think about this. Um, no, you're so it's not empty. If it was empty, you wouldn't be depressed. Your, your show is full because because <laughs> sadness is a part of life, being life. Okay, what the fuck am I talking about? Uh, wait, um, and, um, yeah, test sucks. I know, I know how you feel. Uh, and um, uh, I hope you can feel your. I can. I hope you can feel your void. I can. I hope you can feel the void with my stream. <laughs> I hope this this happy skeleton can feel can feel your void with. I don't know. Yeah, like I I really feel like 2021, right? It's the year of sincerity, like crude sincerity, right? Like it. That's like I think I think I think that's like the new good thing, right? It's sincerity, just like being blunt about your yourself. That's that's 2021. Open, blunt. Like, no, everybody's tried to pretend, right? Like, to pretend is too much energy, right? To be edgy is too much energy. People are just being blunt. Let's go. Do 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 Oh, it's my emoji. I have more, but you people only locked that one. <laughs> Two, two, two. Yeah, I know. I'm joking. I'm, I'm being an ass. Hydrate. Okay, you want to make you want to make me go to the bathroom again, right? Let me drink. See, it's so cheap. It's so cheap. I don't understand why you guys don't don't buy my emojis. It's so cheap. Also, if you donate, technically, in there are, it's six. It's six uh, emotes in total because three are for subscriptions and three are for donations. Oh fuck, I'm painting in the wrong layer. What is this? Amateur hour? Fuck. <laughs> but it's fine. Uh, but
Wait, so one is for subscribers and one is for... Three are for subscribers and three are for um, donators. So yeah, it's a lot of money to get out six. Money we Brazilians don't have. But luckily, my paintings are going to be so successful that I will be able to 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 become so I will become a, a internet celebrity and people are going to watch my art streams and be like, how oh, I need to learn the techniques of this grand artist. <laughs> this artist. And, uh, and it's going to be amazing. And I'm like, wow, I did it. Um, and uh, yeah, yeah. And then I wake up from this stream. It totally flopped, but it's fine. The next one is going to be great. Don't forget to draw a towel layer to see the re So I thought about drawing uh, the vampire lady, the tall vampire lady. But I just I I I just hate how people talk about her. Even though I know she was made to be sexualized. I just get tired of people saying they want to they want her to step on them. So I just nah. I I tried, but I just hate the, the entire situation, so I'm not drawing her at all. I tried to draw her like kissing one of the other vampires in the game because I was like, oh, maybe lesbians, right? Maybe can make this at least a little bit progressive, right? I couldn't do it. It was very weird. Might try again, maybe. Might, might try again. <laughs> Mid try as little person. That's the good term. Little person uh, vampire lady. Uh, maybe. So I set this layer, this layer 27, just so, just so, little tutorial. Set this layer. Lesbians is nerd fetish too. Not if they are made by a queer, queer person like me. I, I mean, I believe, I mean, I believe so. Right. Because when I, when I draw romantic couples, I really draw, I usually draw sapphic romantic couples because it's, it's, it's me, right? I mean, I'm bisexual, but still. Um, I don't know. So I, I, I feel like if I did that, I would do it in a non-fetishized way, right? So yeah, I'm aware it's a nerd fetish, but it's me doing it. The person doing it matters, I think. Probably, I hope so. So I made this layer into a lighter colored layer. You go to you select the layer, go over here and select the lighter color mode, which means that uh, it will not everything I paint. It, the color I'm painting will only affect the areas with will not affect the areas with a color lighter than it. So let's see, let's say I, uh, or, or maybe, like, or like the, the, this, this bear bar here, this value bar. So example, let's say uh, I choose this blue, this very bright blue. Uh, it's very bright, so it will paint, oh, Wait, what if I do this? Okay, so it's a okay, it's both. Okay. So it's it's value and saturation. Okay. So this light blue here, which is very bright, right? It will paint everywhere, right? But if I make it darker, 
and you only paint in the stuff that is as dark as it is, as it is right? So I want to, I'll, I only want to make the deep shadows bluish, right? To make it interesting, right? So if I use this color mode, only the darkest shadows are going to become blue. And that will give an interesting effect. If something is wrong here though. I think Photoshop is having some trouble calculating stuff. Yeah, Photoshop is definitely having some trouble right now. Okay, that, that Photoshop is bugging out for some reason. Why? Why are you why are you bugging? Why can I not paint this part over here? What's the problem? That's weird. Why? Why are you like this, Photoshop? Why are you doing this? Okay, this happens sometimes. Photoshop this fucks you over. Um, why? Let's troubleshoot Photoshop. Why is Photoshop fucking me over? Why is this not working as it should? Maybe I should uh, save this and turn it off. Maybe the memory of the computer is totally taken by Photoshop and I have to restart Photoshop. Maybe let's try it. My computer is good, but it doesn't have a lot of space. There is a bunch of shit on my computer. It, it technically has a thousand and a third and a thousand three hundred. No, a thousand four hundred gigabytes. Right. Uh, but. But it's still not enough. I, I, I have barely have any space left. Oh, no, this is just happening. What if I create another lighter color? Okay, I created another and it, it worked. So, I guess. So I created another layer. I guess you can have all of it in the same layer. Could be. Photoshop die there. Trying to do that. Now, of course, I can adjust the opacity of what I did. If I feel it's too strong, I can just make the opacity lighter. And also, I could go to the, the, the eraser, uh, choose a very smooth eraser uh, with very low opacity, so I can slowly take it out on the excess. So now that the, this skeleton has a more interesting shadow to it. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot. It's a more multifaceted shadow. All the la all that layers we open at the start. Uh, yeah, probably it probably fucked the Photoshop Photoshop over a little bit, like for real. Now that's a normal layer with a, a very low opacity brush, just like with this. And choose the color, the color. 
layer time. Go here, take this off a little bit because it's too much, too much blue. Let's take it a little bit of it. We opened so many layers on the start of the stream. It's not even funny. You're dumb? We all are, honey. You're not dumber than than everyone else. I mean, I think people I think you people should understand that like um uh uh you, like look at people that, that are going outside during a pandemic, right? They are dumb. Like compared to them, we are Einsteins, right? I, I think it's very important to to turn the situation into a, one good thing. And that one good thing is that, hey, as stupid as we can be, we are never going to be as stupid as those people. See? <laughs> I don't know if that makes you feel better or like angrier <laughs> because that does makes me feel angry but you, you, that's definitely something you should keep in mind So let's throw a curves layer where I can. I don't know if that shows on your on the stream, but I'm I'm, I'm making some adjustments to the colors. The Resident Evil event is still going to happen. It isn't happening. Can you tell me which time? It's is it going to happen? Uh, what hour? I might watch it on stream, even though I don't feel like it. I should <laughs> because it's Resident Evil, and I I care about Resident Evil, and I should stream events for the stream. Now, just to make it more interesting, I'm going to make a color layer with a brush, uh, airbrush, very low opacity, red, and just make the color pop a little bit. This red here. Even though skeletons don't know, this it works better in skin. Right, because our skin has a lot of different colors, right? Our skins are not perfect. So if you are trying to render in, render in color, throwing different uh, like blues and reds just all over the place, it's kind of great because you are like depicting what our skins are, which is not perfect, right? But this is a skeleton, so I don't know if I should be doing that. <laughs> oh, it's it's going to be at 7 p.m. Okay. Let's see. Maybe maybe I do it. Maybe I watch it in minute. I will not. So now I should start painting what's under the, the, the skeleton, which is a snake. There is a snake under the skeleton. Not going to do that today because the snake is going to be a lot of vo of work. Right, but um, yeah, I'm like a little bit tired, <laughs> not gonna lie. Um, so we, I will see you guys next time. Uh, tomorrow I will not be um, able to stream, I'm going to be 
at the birthday of my grandma, the grandma I love, and my mother grandma, my mother mom's, my mother's mom, and um, uh, she took all the vaccines, so she's safe. And uh, I mean, I know that she can like, still give COVID to me, but I'll be very careful to not get COVID from her. Uh, I, I am, I'm just happy that she'll not die from COVID. So we, and it's her birthday. So I will be on her birthday and have a good time. So not no stream tomorrow, but I will stream on Saturday, the day next, right? So Resident Evil 4 on Saturday is going to happen. And it's probably going to be over too. It's probably the last stream of Resident Evil 4 because I'm already on the island, right? And the island is the last section. I already went through some of the island. So, yeah. Now I just need to find Krauser, fight that weird thing with tentacles, and then the final boss. So, again, thank you everybody for coming. Until next time, be safe. And if you guys, if you, any of you need, you guys are my friends, if you guys feel like it, give me a call. If you're feeling bad, depressed, give me a call. Let's play some games. And that's it. Kisses. The game's over. The game's over. over. over.